Hey guys, it's Brie. So today's video is going to be on how to use a menstrual cup discreetly. This video is really for those of you who really want to use a menstrual cup and are younger teens but don't have a parent that will let you use a menstrual cup. I did do a video pretty recently actually on how to convince your mum to let you buy, to buy you a menstrual cup but I do understand that there are some parents who are just really really stubborn I guess or just don't like the idea of it and just, uh, just aren't willing to buy you a cup or let you use a cup. And I've been really debating on whether I should make this video or not, but I've come to the conclusion in my own head that using a menstrual cup is not, number one, it's not harmful to you, so it, there's no risk to your health. And number two, it doesn't affect anyone else but you. So I don't feel like it's something that's going to really have an impact if I tell, show you how to use it, and it's going to affect people around you. It's not. It only affects you. And personally, it's your body and it should be your choice. So I decided in the end that actually this would be an okay video to make. And also it probably be useful to those of you who are perhaps staying in a university dorm or room share, whatever, and have a lot of other female or male people around. You just want to know how you can use a menstrual cup if you need to be kind of discreet about your period or if you don't feel comfortable um, being open about it because, as we know, I would not care, really. Um, I'm very open about periods. So, number one, your first issue is going to be how the heck do you get hold of a menstrual cup because most of the time you need to buy them online. For those of you who are, you know, in the university dorms or anything, um, who are older and have your own cards, that's not going to be quite such an issue. Maybe, like, the money-wise, the cost of it is, but you can get hold of it pretty easily. Most of the time, menstrual cups have to be bought online, though. So for those of you who are teens, it's going to be hard for you to get hold of it. Maybe, um, I know that you can get Visa gift cards that you could ask for for your birthday or for Christmas. I know it's like just around the corner. But if you asked for one of those Visa cards, then you can use that to buy stuff online. You could also perhaps borrow an older sister or a cousin. I probably would borrow my cousin's card and pay her back in cash. Or the other thing you can do, and obviously you need to set your pocket money for this if you have pocket money. If not, I'm not really sure how you would manage to get your hands on one of these. But in the UK, certainly, I don't know about the US, I'm afraid, because I'm in England. And in the UK, there are two major cup brands I know of and two stores. Boots stocks the Moon Cup, and I believe Superdrug now stocks the Femme Cup, which is a cup I've got here. I would recommend, especially if you're a teen and you haven't really used a cup before, that's not really to say anything, you know, some teens can use the Moon Cup great, but I find the Moon Cup a pretty brutal cup, and it was actually my first cup, and it, it kind of put me off menstrual cups to begin with. It was only because I discovered the Maluna Cup that I got back into them. But I would recommend you get the Femme Cup if you can, because whilst this one does also have a pretty thick rim, it's a lot softer, it's nowhere near as brutal as the Moon Cup, it's a lot easier to get the hang of. You can actually grip it and pull it down a little bit more easily. One thing I would recommend though, if you have pain when you try and take this out because of the rim, go and watch my video that's called How to Remove Your Menstrual Cup Pain Free, because that will tell you how you fold this and take it out like that, and that removes the pain. So, um, it, only a few people get pain, and, not, and some teens are fine with it, but if it does happen to you, then you know, just know there's a way you can avoid it. So I recommend you get the Femme Cup in that case. So once you've got your menstrual cup, how are you supposed to use it discreetly? Well, there's only really one thing you need when you use a menstrual cup, and that is your menstrual cup and obviously your period, so two things technically. The little pouch here that you keep it in, maybe you just want to keep it in a drawer or something that you know your parents don't use very often. I have a, a drawer over there, you can't see, which is literally just full of old CDs that we never ever go into. So if I was to hide in my menstrual cup, it would probably be in that drawer because no one ever looks in there. And, you know, it's it's not very difficult to hide it because, as you can see, once this is inside here, you, you haven't got any idea what this is. And also, the menstrual cup itself looks a bit odd, so unless you know what this actually is, it doesn't scream to you, oh my god, this is a reusable tampon type thing. You know, you'd have to actually try and work it out. But yeah, so that's how you would use the menstrual cup, um, discreetly hiding it wise, if you want to hide it. I kind of feel like odds making this video because I'm very much a promoter of, you know, periods are fine, but I guess if you don't want people to know you're using this because they would take it away from you, then this video would be useful. So as for cleaning this, very, very simple, obviously, when you're actually on your period, all you do is remove it, pull the blood down the toilet, um, if you're worried about the blood sitting in the bottom of the toilet, take a bit of t uh, loo roll and, sorry, toilet paper, I've got you in America, don't know what we mean when we say loo, it means toilet, 
um, put it in the toilet and pour the blood on top of the toilet roll and then when you flush the toilet that usually stops the blood from sitting at the bottom of the toilet. Then you can just rinse this out in the sink and trust me it's fine, you won't leave any blood residue. People worry I guess on the health side of things of washing it in the sink but when you have like messes that happen with pads, um, you still have to wash your hands so it still goes down the sink. So you just pour out the blood down the toilet, wash the cup out in the sink and then reinsert it. Sometimes you need lubricant, if that's the case you could use coconut oil and make sure it's 100% coconut oil. You can get that at a supermarket and obviously it doesn't look anything related to menstrual cups. So that's kind of like a natural lubricant you can use. Just reinsert it and it should pop open and sit inside you like that. When it comes to the end of your cycle, the bit that people might worry about is how would you sterilize this discreetly. I personally would recommend getting a little pot that comes with a lid, but make sure the lid's got holes in it, or you can just not use the lid. Put this in the little plastic pot, fill it up with water so it's just above the menstrual cup, then you can put that in the microwave for five minutes, and that will sterilize your cup. Although, I personally have to say, I would not worry too much about the sterilization part of it, because, think about it, what else goes in your vagina that's sterilized? I mean, seriously, it's not something you really, really need to focus on. If you only sterilize this every six months, as long as you clean it out really thoroughly, uh, every time you finish using it and every time before you use it. Um, you can use soap, some people recommend against it, but I have like a really natural organic soap that doesn't have any of the chemicals in it, so I'm fine using the soap, it's literally just olive oil and aloe vera I think. Um, you can use that or you can you can buy washes that will clean menstrual cups. Uh, Femme Cup actually do one, it's the Femme Wash, so if you buy it online you might want to get some of that as well. But it's not crucial, you can just wash it out really thoroughly and then wash it out again straight before you use it when you get your period next month. And you should be fine, even if you only sterilize it once every six months when there's like a free house or something or you get a chance where no one's around you, you'll be fine. So it's not absolutely crucial that you sterilize your cup, it's just crucial that you make sure it's really, really clean. And that is basically how you can use your menstrual cup discreetly. It's really not difficult because these are meant to be discreet in the first place. If you're out and about, you just change it in a public bathroom, take a water bottle with you and pour the water over it to clean it out a bit, or you can just wipe out a toilet roll. Yeah, it, it, it's really, really easy to use one of these. And I, as I said before, don't worry too much about sterilizing it because since when are the other stuff sterilized? But thanks for watching, guys. Please subscribe. Don't forget you can buy menstrual cups on my website. Links down below, and I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.